Okay. Hello. This is Seniority Fed Up in my dark studio. I don't let anybody into my studio unless they pay, but you're getting it for free. Aren't you lucky? Okay, so you'll see this right here is a base trap that I'm talking about. I hung up. I don't know if you live in an apartment or a house, but you can make these without having to destroy your walls. Okay, I just lay these here on the back. And uh, we'll talk about what's inside them in a little bit. Just want to show you my room. It's pretty sloppy. But let me tell you something. I don't think there's better sounding than anywhere else. Okay, you'll notice that the floors have a little bit of carpet, not too much. It's the only little bit of reflection that I want. You'll notice in the corners I have these black looking uh, pieces. Those are also the base traps. Those are the most important we're talking about. These right here were custom made. They're about 1.5 inch thick. While they're good, I suggest you can make them for cheaper. Cost me about 300 bucks for those. Four of them. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and you'll also notice here in the top, not something I'm recommending you do. This is a little bit tedious. Those have are just rigid rock wool pieces with no wood frame, just fabric wrapped over them. And uh, they give the effect of a, of a roofless studio, which is good. But we're going to talk about the basics. This right here is the base trap, but this is a really cheap one. Uh, I'll show you why, because they're just really loose and they don't have a backing in the front, in the back, so the rock wool could come off at any time. And that's good because I get to show you what's inside it. So aren't you lucky I didn't do a good job. Alright, so we're going to take one out. Well, I guess it's a little bit in there. You see that right there? That is a 2x4 mineral rock wool, rock wool that I purchased from a warehouse. This is two inches thick, as you can see. It's a little bit messy. See how it come out like that? But that's okay, because once you have it wrapped up, it'll be okay. You're not gonna have to deal with it much. Now, one thing I have to say, this is not dangerous to breathe in. Many people in the acoustics forums have proven this to be a fact that it is not harmful to your breathing, especially if you keep it in uh, uh, wrapped up in the you know some sort of fabric which you will have to do there it is another cheap one but anyway there are two of these two inch thick uh, pieces in these right here there's a horrible looking base trap but it's in there this is the enclosure and you just put fabric over it and there you go voila you just lean it up there preferably black like little monoliths if you've seen that movie uh, 2000 something I don't remember by Stanley Kubrick so I have one here have one there I have one in the corner I have one there on the edge you see right there between those two I have one in the corner another one in the corner and one on the edge here these are the most important ones these other ones here this uh let's see sorry got a little dark there these right here with the fancy fabric are not as important as the one in the corner the one here, the one there. So in total, you'll probably need about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight traps. Preferably, you put two pieces of two inch thick two by four rock wool. And um, you don't even have to build, build a frame. As you notice up here, those don't have frames. They're a little bit more sloppy looking. And uh, you just wrap it around and you could super glue it together but I mean put a glue gun or safety pins over it and you wrap it around and you have yourself uh, eight pieces of rock wool now I purchased uh, I purchased them by the bulk by an insulation warehouse it cost me about $28 for six pieces uh, so most importantly what you'll just need is uh, the insulation which is a rock wool or orange coning, anything like that. If you want to get more specific on which one to get, 
You could just go over the gear sluts and they'll tell you. But I'll tell you right now, in my opinion, the best is Rockwool or Owens Corning at a 4 to 8 pound density thickness. You get 2 by 4 size and uh, make sure they're, each panel is about 4 inches thick. You put one in, the, in each corner. You put two here behind the monitors and two on the sides, which are the first reflections. That's it. You want to worry about the ceiling? That's another big mission, my friend. But what I just told you is the best way to go. And if you notice, you can't really hear or feel a reflection. Hello? Hello? I'll do a... can't really hear it through this iPhone mic, but... Let me tell you, there's no reflections. You'll, you'll be able to hear everything uh, directly without any reflections or reverbs. And the reason why that's important is because microphones, you know, want to pick up the source and only the source and not the reflective sound, which create, you know, a sense of a room that you're in. And that's not what you need in a studio. So there you have it. It's a long video just for you. I'll keep it up for only a few days and I'll delete it because it's a pretty silly video. But I really hope you could benefit from this. Okay, any other more questions, just go to Gear Sluts Forum Acoustics. Alrighty, bye-bye.